Hi, Right Writers Cruise here. Thank you so much for joining me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a conclusion from an introduction when we disagree with the topic. If this video is something that interests you, please stay tuned. Thank you so much for subscribing and or for recommending this channel to others. All right, so in this case, right, writers, we have our topic and our or our prompt, and the prompt or the topic is, does technology make us more lonely? In this case, we disagreed with the topic, and now I'm going to read the introduction, and then I'm going to teach you, or again, show you, explicitly show you the strategy that I use for making a conclusion from my introduction Let's go ahead and look at our introduction, and then we will create our conclusion from our introduction. In today's society, we seem quite keen on blaming either other people or other things for our actions and our problems. For instance, when we are running late to work, we blame either our children or the heavy traffic or the slow-moving train. In other words, we find ways to release ourselves of any responsibility for our actions. The same is true for technology. Perhaps several ugly comments were made on a post we created on Facebook or Instagram. So now we feel angry and upset. Later, we scroll through a close friend's feed and realize that we were not invited to a recent social event. So now we feel shunned and betrayed. However, where should the blame fall? Should we blame the comments, our friends, or ourselves? Now the blame game has shifted to accusing technology for making us feel isolated and alone. But again, who is to blame for these feelings? We are. Therefore, I do not believe that technology makes us more lonely. Okay, so here, right, writers, the first thing I do is I grab the last sentence of my introduction and I create my conclusion. And then I grab all this information that I created and then I paste it basically underneath it. And so now I read my conclusion and check for flow. Now I may end up deleting some information, taking some information out, but I really want to maintain the integrity of the introduction in my conclusion, because if I took the time to make a rich and sophisticated introduction, then I want to keep that in my conclusion. So now let's take a look at our conclusion. Therefore, I do not believe that technology makes us more lonely. In today's society, we seem quite keen on blaming either other people or other things for our actions and our problems. For instance, when we are running late to work, we blame either our children or the heavy traffic or the slow moving train. In other words, we find ways to release ourselves of any responsibility for our actions. The same is true for technology. Perhaps several ugly comments were made on a post we created on Facebook or Instagram. So now we feel angry and upset. Later, we scroll through a close friend's feed and realize that we were not invited to a recent social event. So now we feel shunned and betrayed. However, where should the blame fall? Should we blame the comments, our friend, or ourselves? Now the blame game has shifted to accusing technology for making us feel isolated and alone. But again, who is to blame for these feelings? We are. Okay, so right writers, I see some areas where maybe I could delete some comments and make the conclusion just more tight and concise. So this sentence right here may be something that we can eliminate. So I want to go ahead and kind of jump from the sentence before and the sentence after to make sure that it flows. In today's society, we seem quite keen on blaming either other people, or other things for our actions and our problems. In other words, we find ways to release ourselves of any responsibility for our actions. Okay, right, writers, that does work. So let me go ahead and delete this sentence and then again, read it all together to ensure a beautiful flow and maintain that integrity in our conclusion here. Therefore, I do not believe that technology makes us more lonely. In today's society, we seem quite keen on blaming either other people or other things for our actions and our problems. 
In other words, we find ways to release ourselves of any responsibility for our actions. The same is true for technology. Perhaps several other ugly comments. Okay, this sounds a little bit awkward, right, writers? I think that we should also delete this sentence right here. And again, sometimes we have to sort of pause and go, oh, that doesn't work. So let's take that sentence out and then review it again. Taking it from the top right, writers, here we go, our conclusion. Therefore, I do not believe that technology makes us more lonely. In today's society, we seem quite keen on blaming either other people or other things for our actions and our problems. In other words, we find ways to release ourselves of any responsibility for our actions. Perhaps several ugly comments were made on a post we created on Facebook or Instagram. So now we feel angry and upset. Later, we scroll through a close friend's feed and realize that we were not invited to a recent social event. So now we feel shunned and betrayed. However, where should the blame fall? Should we blame the comments, our friend, or ourselves? Now the blame game has shifted to accusing technology for making us feel isolated and alone. But again, who is to blame for these feelings? We are. Okay, right, writers, I feel very confident in this conclusion. And notice how we made two decisions. We deleted two sentences from our conclusion, yet we did not really change the essence of the conclusion from what we made from our introduction. And again, what this does, right, writers, is it allows the reader to come full circle and they have this sense of closure. And this also creates a less stressful way to end your essay. Because when you're asking yourself, how do I finish the essay? My argument is you already finished your essay when you made a strong introduction. Now you just need to use that introduction to create a rich conclusion. Thank you so much for watching this video, Write Writers. I hope this video ensures your success and I appreciate you subscribing and or recommending this channel to others. Love you guys. Have a great rest of your week. Take care, Write Writers. Bye-bye.